everybody and welcome back to your February village meeting. This month we are going to talk about Lent. One of the really neat things about our liturgical calendar, which is the calendar of, that our church uses, is that we are given different seasons to learn and grow closer to God. We just celebrated Advent where we prepared our bodies and our minds and our spirits for the birth of Jesus to get ready for Jesus. And then we celebrated Christmas to celebrate Jesus in our lives and born within us. And now we're gonna celebrate Lent to become closer to Jesus and build that relationship with Jesus through doing different type things. So what is Lent? That's the first question that we're going to explore today. Ooh, that's a good question. Do you know what Lent is? Lent is a season in the church that helps us prepare for the miracle of Easter. Wow, that was a really interesting answer. Why do we even have Lent, Sarah? I'm glad you asked because that's the question that my friend is going to answer here. In the early church, people who wanted to become Christians spent several years preparing for their baptism. The rest of the church began to participate, and this eventually became what we now know as Lent. Wow, that's so interesting. Do we really have people at St. Francis of Assisi in Raleigh, North Carolina, who want to join our church and become Christian? Yes. This process is called... RCIA. Each year, we have a group of people who prepare all year, and especially during Lent, to receive sacraments at the Easter Vigil. Do you know how long Lent is? Sarah, how long is the season of Lent? I forgot, so I guess we'll have to ask our friends who can tell us the answer. Lent lasts 40 days, which doesn't count Sundays. Lent begins with Ash Wednesday, which is on February 17th. Lent ends with Easter. Wow, 40 days is a long time. Ooh, yeah. So what are we supposed to do during those 40 days of Lent? So we know that during Lent, we're supposed to pray and fast and give alms. So what does it even mean to pray? We pray at church. We do pray at church. Hmm, what does, what does it mean to pray? Prayer is when we talk to God. We should do this every day of the year. Especially during Lent, we turn our focus to our relationship with Jesus and growing in our love for him by talking and listening to him. Another part of Lent is fasting. Fasting can mean a lot of different things. Let's hear what our friend has to say about fasting. Fasting is when we go without something. This can mean we don't eat meat, We give up a video game. We don't watch a TV show. Or we stop saying mean words. This is a tough one because we don't often hear the word alms, A-L-M-S, in our everyday life. So next, our friend is going to tell us what it means to give alms. Giving alms is when we give what we have to others who are in need of it. We could give money, food, or gently used clothes, toys, or books. It seems like a lot of work to go through Lent. Sarah, is Lent just about giving up chocolate? A lot of times, we can just see Lent as a second chance at our failed New Year's resolution. Maybe when it was January 1st, you decided you would start a new diet or you would give up playing your favorite video game to spend more time with your family. But Lent isn't just about having a fresh chance at your New Year's resolution. Hmm. In fact, the point of Lent is to grow closer in our relationship with Jesus and to be reminded that his love for us is never ending. That's pretty amazing. It Maybe is. Lent won't be so hard this month. Your village kit will include lots of really 
interesting and engaging activities. As a group, you're gonna talk about what your Lenten plan is, including prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Once you decide what you're gonna do, what you're gonna choose, you're gonna write them on sheets and cut them out for you to look at throughout Lent. As part of your homework, when you get home, you're going to take an Alleluia, decorate it up, and bury it. You'll find out why that's an important thing to do. Also, every registered child will get a scratch-off calendar that helps you mark the days from Ash Wednesday to the last day, which is Easter. And if you have a preschooler in your group, they get to do a craft activity with a sheep where they'll put the balls on the sheep and they'll have their own little countdown activity. You also have in your village kit for this month, this piece of paper, which you can keep at your family's dinner table or breakfast table. And it gives you, it has two sides and it gives you different things to talk about as a family during Lent, all the way from Ash Wednesday up until Easter. And lastly, you don't have this in your village kit, but you did receive this a few months ago when we began the season of Advent. And now we invite you to pull this purple cloth back out and to set it up on your family's prayer station to remind us that during Lent, we're in a very different season than we celebrated during ordinary time. And seeing this purple cloth at your family's prayer station will remind you that we are in the season of Lent where we're called to grow closer to Jesus through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. This month, you're gonna hear a lot of new and big words like triduum and what are some other big words, Sarah? Almsgiving. Almsgiving. So as you go through this season, think of these new words and what they mean. We can't wait for you to learn more about Jesus and about everybody in your village during this month's meeting. And we're going to close with our prayer, which is in your village kit. In the name of the Father, Father and, and of the Son, Son and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. By his stripes, we are healed. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.